need to see your pass, soldier. Here's my pass. Ugh. Don't tell me, O'Neill, you want a pair of dry socks. Ugh. Get me a four-star general's dress uniform. On the double, Private. Be ready in five minutes, guys. I'll need your passports. We'll be with you just as soon as IQ gets his suitcase closed. <clears throat> there. I don't think that's the fashion they're wearing in the States, IQ. IQ? This long underwear you gave me is driving me crazy. What's with Trevor? Well, he's been afraid of flying ever since we had that bumpy trip to Vienna. So, so I sewed a parachute into his long underwear. Oh, oh, that reminds me. Oh, I don't want to forget to bring this. It's an FM cassette player I rigged up as a homing device. What do you need a homing device for? I don't. But I hate the way those in-flight headphones dig into my ears. So I'm bringing my own pair. You take the headphones, I'll take the music. Oh, isn't it wonderful, James? A whole week in Washington, walking through museums, taking pictures, touring the monuments. Passport. Uh, Tracy, this is expired. So, I'll get a new one. Good. Then you should have it just in time for our next field trip. What? As usual, Mitchell, remember, keep an eye on the students at all times. I don't want any of them getting into trouble. Yes, sir. Daddy, are you sure you can't pull some strings to get my passport renewed? I'm sorry. It's impossible. But I've been looking forward to seeing Washington, D.C. for weeks. Don't worry, Tracy. I promise to take lots of pictures. Thanks a lot. going to look worse if you don't fix it fast. <coughs> I told you to stay out of the rain. You've shorted out the master circuit that controls all the micro motors I implanted under your skin. How does it feel now? Perfect. So I prefer my face to yours. You! We're looking for this man. We tracked him here. Uh, but I, I haven't seen this man. What about him? He's just had surgery. He mustn't be disturbed. I was under anesthetic. I saw nothing. Sorry to bother you. Oh. 
according to this report, a Lieutenant Casing is arriving at Dulles Airport this afternoon to inform General Armstrong about my little theft at the Army base. I've got to stop this Lieutenant before my plans are ruined. I'll get us a cab. Haven't you got a limo? Yeah, but I left it in the garage with my Rolls and Mercedes. I mean, women serving in the military when it's clearly a man's job. A man's job, huh? And I suppose you consider yourself a man? Why, of course. Well, then act like it. Stand up straight. Suck in that hey. gut. Shoulders back. Chin out. Oh! If I were you, I'd join the Girl Scouts. Thank you. Don't mention it, Miss... Uh... Not Miss, uh, Lieutenant. Casing. But you can call me Shelley. And you can call me James. Say, you wouldn't know where we can get a ride into Washington, would you? I'm going there myself. You're welcome to ride in my Jeep. That is, if you don't mind women drivers. Follow them! This is a cool Jeep, Lieutenant. Have you thought about adding a roll bar and chrome rims? I don't think my superiors would go for it, Gordo. What would your superiors say if you took us on a short tour of the city? I think they'd say it was very good foreign relations. Besides, I have an hour before I have to be at the Pentagon. This is the Lincoln Memorial, which honors Abraham Lincoln, one of our greatest leaders. Hmm, what an impressive statue. Someday, thousands are going to flock to see a statue of me. Yeah, thousands of pigeons. <laughs> so what do you do in the army, Shelley? Internal security. I'm currently investigating the mysterious theft of a uniform from Fort Meade. Come on, Mr. Mitchell. Let's check out the Washington Monument. Go on without me. I'll catch up as soon as I finish reading the Gettysburg Address. They're heading for the Washington Monument. Malice, get me that old wool coat and hat. It says here this monument is over 555 feet tall. It was built in the late 1800s in honor of George Washington, the first president of the United States. Let's go to the top. I hear there's an awesome view. Hey, I, I get nervous if there are too many people in one elevator. It sure is a beautiful view. It looks pretty good from here, too. Ah! Shelly! James, help! Hold on! Here, yeah, let me help you. Ah! I'm terribly sorry. Please, give us a hand. <laughs> Why, of course. A wonderful performance. The most touching death scene I've ever witnessed. She's crazy! No, not crazy. Just determined to keep the two of you out of my hair. Enjoy the view! <laughs> James, I'm slipping! Ah! Poor lady, must have gotten airsick. You've got to. IQ and the others will be here any minute. Whoa! Get a load of that view! Uh, I think I'll stay back here. I don't like heights. Hey! What happened to James and Shelly? Help! James! Gordo, quick, grab Shelly! Uh, uh. I, I can't reach him! There's only one chance. I've got to lower someone down by their ankles who can grab James. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Who would be stupid enough to do such a foolish thing? Oh, what do you think you're doing? Oh, no. Shut up and grab him, Trevor. Got him. It's no good. They're too heavy for me. Oh. Gordo, 
You've got to let go! Are you out of your mind? It's our only chance! Trust me, Gordo, let go! I don't have any choice! James! No! We're dead! <laughs> oh, well saved! It's the woman who pushed us out the window! We're taking a slight detour! Hotel. Uh, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> Just some stupid kid in a tree. What's James doing? He's really moving. We'll never be able to follow him. Oh, yes, we will. With these headphones, I can track James via his FM cassette player. All I have to do is pick up the signal. I guess it's still got a few bugs. Follow that music! Oh, when I get back to Warfield, Bond is going to be in big trouble! Well, this, gentlemen, is what we've all been waiting for. The Robot Armored Tactical Soldier, or Rats, as we call it here at the Pentagon. <laughs> now, with it, the common foot soldier will be virtually unstoppable. The prototype is arriving this afternoon. So, how do you like the view? James, IQ. What's our next move, Chameleon? We're going to the Pentagon, where I'm going to steal the rat's body armor prototype. Scum will pay me millions for it. These must be the creeps Shelley is after. Now, how am I going to stop them? Oh, I'm awfully sorry. Indian food, my favorite. But this is for 311. That's me. I'm really hungry. I'll eat it right here, thanks. Oh, and I never dine without a dinner jacket. Thanks. Don't mention it. To anyone, this Indian food is just what I need. Uh, who is it? A room service. Uh, we didn't order any. Food? Lots of good spicy East Indian food. Say, you look familiar. It's the kid I pushed out the window. Might I recommend the tandoori chicken? Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Hold it right there, punk! Not before we do some celebrating. <laughs> James is around here somewhere. Did you see anybody exit? No. Then the guy you're looking for is still in the hotel. Better fan out and block the exits. I'll guard the entrance, which will afford me a quick exit should anything dangerous happen. James, is that you?
Hold it right there. Uh, uh, two. Police, you're under arrest. Come out nice and slowly. Oh, thank goodness. Well, it's about time you caught him. Hands in the air. Oh, oh don't shoot. Uh, I'm innocent. Yes, that's right, Mr. Milbanks. He just uh, went crazy and attacked the police officers. In jail? Oh, I can't believe Trevor would attack two police officers. He didn't. That chameleon character changed his face to look like Trevor. Ah, no cop's gonna buy that story. Gordo's right. The only way we're going to get Trevor out of jail is to find the real culprit. The RATS prototype is due to arrive at the Pentagon any minute. I've got to warn the general. I'm coming with you. James! See you tomorrow, Willie. So long, Senator. Excuse me. You've got my briefcase, Willie. Decide to come see our new weapon demonstration after all, eh, Senator? Actually, I decided that... You are not going to see it! prototype is more than I had hoped for. There's just one last test to perform. Only for this one, I'll need to wear the rat's armor myself. But, sir, this is highly irregular. That's an order, mister. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Casey, I've got an urgent message for General Armstrong. Lieutenant. And absolutely too late. Punching bag, eh, Trev? <laughs> Ow. Hop in. The general wants me to give you a VIP tour of the city. 
Something tells me I don't want to know what you've been up to, James. Who, me? I've just been checking out the many faces of Washington, D.C. Yeah!